morning internet hello there hello welcome to my channel hello welcome to this video i forgot to film for like the first half an hour that i was awake but it's all good all i did was eat porridge so hello and welcome to a day in the life of a Sable Island researcher. If you don't know what that means, you're gonna find out. Basically, I go and look at horses and that's what I do all day, every day. So this is gonna give you a rough idea of what it's like for us guys. We currently live in a desert island off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada. It's super hard to get here. You have to take a plane or a helicopter and only when the conditions are correct. So we're kind of isolated in the middle of the ocean with 500 feral horses. Okay, anyway, let's uh, continue with the day in the life part of this video. Eventual, <laughs> and this is the Table Island Lab. Thank you, Inchol. We first put on gloves. This is our lab. Put on the gloves. Very important, I'm not wearing gloves because I'm not touching anything, but still. This, this is step one of lab work that we do every day. So this is morning lab work. They've already done the first part of it. And what we have is these little bad boys. And now we'll play a really fun game where we pour, oh wait, have you poured the water out? No, we have to pour it now. Oh God, okay, this is pourry time. So this is, these are full of worms and they're full of water. And we yeah. want to get rid of the water. So do There's you want to- There's worms in here. Do you want to show us how you get rid of the water? Yep, so you go like this and then you, and the worms are still at the bottom. Yep, but it's a horrible process and we just trust in adhesion that it works. It's a super scary process. So <laughs> super, super scary. Everything. Can you do it again. <laughs> there we go. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> okay, and then this is the next thing we do, which is putting ethanol into all of the worms um, to make them go to sleep. <laughs> The next thing we need to do is pack up all of our stuff, which consists of a GPS, a radio, and a camera, which we use to take photos of the horses. If we're going to do laser photos, we get our lasers. And if we're going to do FIDs, meaning flight initiation distance, we're going to get something called a rangefinder, which has a tiny little laser inside that detects the distance we are away from the horse. Shit. Got all of my technical gear and then what I need is a load of these bad boys. Now these are basically poop or fecal kits and they have this little tube which is a DNA swab and a couple of gloves so we can collect hot and cold poops and I'll explain what I mean by that in a bit. And then I also need to pack my notebook because this is where I take all of my notes about who the horses are. Are you ready kids? I don't know the rest. We Cold poop bag. And this is our hot poop bag. So the cold poops go in here because there's ice packs in here. And the hot poops go in here because there's no ice packs. Are you Hello. sad that this is your last day on the island? I'm very sad. It's so pretty here. It's so yeah. pretty I love working with the turns and the horses. <laughs> I mean, not that we work with the turns, we just tolerate them. We just tolerate them. Yeah. We go! first thing we, that we do is we take the date, the time, which section it is, and then this is the GPS location, and it's a band of five, and then we assess which everyone is, so what their gender is, I'm not sure about this one yet, and then we write a description so that in the future we can use this to identify the horses. So here they are. So the first thing I do is that I try and absorb some fluid from the feces. Basically, it's a DNA sample. Poop isn't the best thing to get DNA from, but it's the only way we can get DNA. And the next thing I do is I collect a cold poop sample. Now, you kind of want this sample to not be touching sand or other environmental stuff. Sometimes you can't help it. And I'm gonna wrap this up in this glove and get a second sample for hot poop, and then I'm gonna put them in my bag. Cold poop goes in here, which is a nice pack I have in my bag. And hot poop goes in the hot poop bag. And now all the horses are running away, so I need to go get them because I need to stick with them until I've got all their lasers done. God damn it, they've all got away from me again. They're just chilling by the sea, that's so wholesome though. 
on the way to find some more horses. Where could they be? Are they in this valley? I'm gonna do about 10 more minutes and then I'm gonna head off and grab the, um, the buggy and I'm gonna drive back to the station and then we're gonna start the second part of the day after five hours of field work. We start five hours of lab work. Thanks for that demonstration. The first thing I need to do now that I'm back is I need to sort through all of the poop, which I currently have in my cold poop bag. Need to make sure it goes in the freezer for the DNA swab. And then we put the cold poop in the fridge and then that gets processed later in the day when we do something called poop rolling and also for McMaster slides, which are fecal egg counts. Um, so yeah, just gonna go do that and then I'm gonna go have a shower because I really need it. <laughs> So I have to process my samples um, and I'm pretty sure this one is a foal, so that's a yes if it's a foal. What the date is, July 31st, and the book that it's written down in, did I get fecal? Yep. And was everything chilled? Yes it was. And then I just write down any extra comments here and then my samples are processed. This is horse poop. I'm rolling it and putting it in these cryo tubes and then we're gonna freeze it and we're gonna send it off for analyses like microbiomes, like stress hormones, immune molecules, etc. <laughs> Thank you for that. Would you, <laughs> would you like to, sh to show me how you roll the poop? Oh yeah, first you grab some, some of the poo and then you go like this, you get your fingers and you go like this. Okay, you, you roll. Go like that. Okay. You go like that. And yeah. then you yeah. force it in. Oh, interesting. Context, that sounds like. <laughs> if you twist it, it like goes in a little easier. You screw it in. <laughs> and then you just pack it in and then you, and then you get the cap and you screw it on. And then this goes to Calgary. This goes to Calgary. That's right. This one was done by Isla Botting. Oh, this, this was Isla one of my Botting poops. Sample. Yay. Thank you, Incho. Thanks for that demonstration. <laughs> this is poop and vermiculite. I have weighed out all of the poops on this scale, and now we're going to mix the poops. Mash in the poo. Yeah, you'll really get We're good for next year as well, I think. My poop, <laughs> my poop is, it's mashed, it's rolled, it's shaped into a dome, and it has a hole in it. The reason we have a hole in it is so the worms can escape. Is that correct, Mickey? Uh, it's to give them less capital. Okay, give them less travel time. It cuts their commute. Okay, so my guy in Chol, he has a cheese club. Goes into the funnel over the top and then, and then what we do is we get our sugary poop. We pour the sugary poop into the cheesecloth and then what we do is we squeeze all of the poop juice out and you'd give that a good squeeze like when you make cheese yeah it's basically the same thing and then at the end of it you get you get your poop juice here we go nice sugary poop juice and the next thing we need to do is we need to put this onto a slide so we can count the number of eggs we find in it i, don't want to try it. I think it's Marine science, something you wish. Here we go. I think it's nautical science. Nautical science. Of course you. It's pizza time. Cheese. You want some cheese on your pizza? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. It's sexy pizza time. <laughs> Back to doing lab work.
It's our serotonin break, aka we're going to go watch the sunset. We've got like three minutes before it sets. <laughs> we got the end of it! <laughs> Look at it. I think it's going to disappear completely. Oh, it was worth running all the way up here. Oh, it's so small now. <laughs> Are you enjoying your last sunset? Yeah, I got the last five seconds of it. The last five seconds of oh, Sable man. Island sunset. It's gone. The thing is, like, when you read the protocol for this, you're like, what the fuck is he telling you to do? Yeah, when I was <laughs> And now, last step. We water the tubes and the worms can swim and be free before we dunk them in ethanol. Little worm right, boys. I think we're done. I can just send you okay. mine. Oh, I'll just send it, I guess. Yeah. Oh my god, look at them all go. Look at all the wiggly boys. These are worms. They're trying to get out. <laughs> all these wiggly things. They're worms. It's half nine. We're done with lab work now. And now we're going to go look at the stars because we're a wholesome bunch. And tomorrow we don't have to get out early for lab work, so... We're, we can stay up. Woohoo! This is kind of cool. I've got some um, Sable Island merch. So I got a postcard that I'm just going to use as like a picture. And then I have a little sticker that I can put it on my laptop. And you can only get these on Sable Island. So very few people are allowed to get these. It gets only better. And then, um, then as you get close to the beach, you start feeling the, uh, not the feeling, but the I existential, <laughs> the, the weight. We walked to the ocean and we sat and watched the stars for like an hour. Um, it was amazing. There were so many shooting stars. We saw the SpaceX satellites as well, which if you don't know, they're like satellites that just go in a straight line and it's kind of creepy and scary, but also super cool. So today's actually been like a really chill day. Like most of our days, we have way more work to do than what we did today. We haven't actually finished all of our work. We didn't sort out our photos. So the photos I took today, I need to sort out into folders and I've taken probably about 500 photos today. So that normally takes an hour or so, but I'll do that tomorrow morning because tomorrow we have a day off. Um, Inchol and a couple of the others are actually leaving the project. So they're going to be flying off tomorrow morning and we're going to be getting everything ready for them. So day off. Woohoo. Anyway, if you like this video, then make sure to like and subscribe to my channel just to see me doing more weird things because I've realized my channel doesn't really have a theme. It's just traveling and me doing weird things. Um, but yeah, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed and goodbye for now.